Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nungy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Sanford and Son. It is one of my favorite and absolute great shows from the 1970s. Have you seen Sanford and Son? Do you have a favorite episode? Let me know in the comments down below and check out my Sanford and Son playlist where you can see lots of other videos on Sanford and Son. My channel also has 1700 videos that you can enjoy on classic TV shows and movies. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on this video. Thank you so much. Now, I absolutely guarantee that this blooper will entertain you and you most likely have not seen it because it is one that is a little easy to miss, but I'll show it to you here. It comes from the episode, My Fair Esther. This comes from season five, it's episode nine, and it aired November 14th, 1975. In this episode, Fred becomes what we know as a type of a counselor or a guide to Esther. Why? Well, he undertakes the task of transforming her from a quote unquote ugly duckling, Esther, into a swan so that she can win the Miss Watts business contest. And then Fred can get half of the prize money. Now, it's a very funny episode because it is a great way to see Red Fox and Luana Page work together in a friendly manner, but it's still so silly and it's still so great. Now in this one, Fred Sanford is trying to do his best to win that money and he even enlisted some advice from a knowledgeable book. And this is where we see that blooper. It's a pretty interesting book if I do say so myself. Now, if you look at the title of the book, the actual dust jacket, it says the Joanna Rhodes Beauty Book, Your Stairway to a Beautiful You. Now, when I was looking at this episode, I was noticing how blue the book was. And then the front cover had the design with the stairs and a woman in a bikini top, basically on the top, silhouetted by a sun or a moon or something similar to that. And to me, I asked myself immediately, is this a real book? And then I thought, well, probably not. What kind of tipped me off is how blue, you know, the, the, the dust cover was and that there was nothing on the back. But then I keep looking a little bit carefully at what was under the dust cover. I said, could I see what book is under the dust jacket? And as I looked very closely, I could notice a couple words. I could notice Churchill on the right hand side of the screen. I'll highlight it here. And I thought, okay, maybe this has something to do with the Joanna Rhodes. But I thought, wouldn't it be funny if it actually says Winston Churchill? Honestly, I was like, it would be a funny joke. But as the episode continued a few seconds later, you actually see the words Winston Churchill in big white lettering. I'll point it out here in this book. So essentially, they used a normal book about Winston Churchill. And that was the prop that they needed. And they just made a dust cover jacket that covered it with the own title for the story. Now, what was so cool about it is that I didn't catch it until I was looking very carefully at the Winston Churchill. Now, my question is, how many of you noticed this? Because I know probably it went above a lot of your heads. The reason is because we're watching the episode, right? We're enjoying the show so much. We're enjoying all the comedy. But... Those are my eagle eyes. I tend to spot these things and it's really, really cool to see something like this. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Should they have maybe taped the dust cover to the actual book? My thoughts, if they would have done that, the when the book would have opened, they could have stretched the tape and ripped it. So they were just banking on Red Fox, squeezing the book and making sure that you couldn't see the Winston Churchill, but unfortunately it still showed. I wanna know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this embarrassing blooper? I really like stuff like this. I really love covering things and information behind the scenes like this. A little bit of insight into the magic of movie and television production. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you for your support. And don't forget, most importantly, be hopeful. A really big thank you to all my Diamond Tier patrons, Jerry D, Stacy L, Scott R, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this list or receive exclusives as a great way to support the channel, visit my Patreon description below. Thank you.